Hi, this is Jim with AskMyOnSiteGeek.com, bringing you another quick tip video. Today's quick tip answers a question posed by Kirk. When do you know your laptop is dead? We have a three-year-old Dell that is really slow and often non-responsive. You can visit CallMyOnSiteGeek.com to view this and other quick tip audios and videos. The description really slow and often non-responsive are classic symptoms of a failing hard disk. If sectors are starting to go bad, the hard disk will have difficulty accessing the data, so it might have to reread or rewrite one or more sectors. This can cause the system to behave very sluggishly. Spyware can also overwhelm the system by hogging the CPU. Especially on an older machine, spyware can o overwhelm an older processor. However, since there is no indication of pop-ups or connectivity issues in this case, it's less likely that it's spyware. Regardless, I always tend to start with hardware. In this case, we want to determine if there's a problem with the hard disk. The average life of a desktop hard drive is roughly four years. Due to its smaller physical size and the fact that it's mobile, the average life of a laptop drive is two and a half to three years. Hard drive temperature is one of the better early indicators of impending failure. The normal temperature of a hard drive is between 35 and 45 degrees C. Most hard disk utilities start to issue strong reliability warnings when the hard drive temperature reaches around 55 degrees C. There are several hard drive monitors that can help gauge the reliability of a hard drive. These monitors are typically mo monitoring the SMART parameters. SMART stands for Self-Monitoring, Analysis, and Reporting Technology. It's provided by all disk drive manufacturers. Don't try to glean any hidden nuggets from these SMART parameters. They really only make sense with a large statistical database over time. Any per device analysis of the smart data is futile. You'll really just, you're really just trying to gauge the general condition of your drive. If the temperature is in the normal range, then you can run a file system check on the hard disk using Microsoft's Check Disk Utility. Open My Computer, then right click on the C drive click on properties. This will open a properties dialog box. Click on tools, click on check now, and then click the check box associated with file system errors. Then you can click the start button. It will prompt you for a reboot of the system. It's necessary to restart the computer because CheckDisk needs complete control of the hard drive when running. CheckDisk will resolve numerous file system issues which can certainly affect performance. This shows CheckDisk while it's running. This shows that CheckDisk identified and corrected some file system errors. A second pass with check disk can also be made with the bad sector option checked. Note, this option can cause check disk to run for 15 minutes or more on a healthy disk. On a struggling disk, it can take several hours to run. Also, you have to let it run to completion because if you interrupt check disk before it completes, you run the very high risk of corrupting the hard disk to the point where it will not even boot. Also, if the hard disk is starting to fail, performing the bad sector check could actually make the problem worse. Therefore, before you run the bad sector check, make sure you've backed up your data. If you determine that the hard drive is in fact the source of your problem, then you might face the repair or replace dilemma. It might not be cost effective to apply the time and effort of a new hard drive to an older laptop. It might be more cost effective to back up the data and transfer it to a new machine. 
If you have any other questions when you're sitting at your computer, please visit askmyonsitegeek.com and ask your question. I will respond with either an audio or video quick tip to answer your question. You can also view additional quick tips at callmyonsitegeek.com. This is Jim, keeping track of your IT landscape so you don't have to.